Hey, what's up? Silas here. This is going to be a short video about racial profiling and the requirements for talking about it. This is probably an annoying saying series because this does happen often. But here's an example. I was in this social media group and somebody posted up uh, an example. This person happens to be male, black, living in the United States of America from what I saw. Somebody else, the person posts this and says, this is an example of racial profiling or saying, okay, you're not talking about this. And this is kind of a politically... Uh, charge group about different sides and talking about different political things. So somebody else comes in and says, okay, I see there may be some issues here in this thing that you posted, but I don't see how this is racial profiling. That person who commented this way happened to be white, at least from what I saw. I didn't check what country he was on. I would post the article and double check this person, but this original poster most likely blocked me after asking this question <laughs> right after this. Because, okay, Sorry, I need to get back to this again. Let me clear it out again. Original poster posts something saying, this is an example of racial profiling. Different people are commenting. One person comes in and comments, happens to be white and says, okay, I see this is an issue, but how is this racial profiling? Then the original poster, black guy living in the United States of America, comes in and says, oh, I'm sorry, you're not a person of color, so you're not qualified to talk to me about racial profiling. And I'm like, okay, you know, normally you see this kind of thing and like, this is ridiculous, annoys the hell out of me and people are like, oh, you have to be this to speak about this. I'm like, no, if there's an actual issue out there, you should be able to communicate and talk about it if you want people to actually come in and understand what, you, what, what your issue is. You should be able to actually communicate and get people to empathize and understand and that's how people help you. But anyway, so I asked this person this question, this original poster of this, this black person in the United States of America, I asked them, okay, so, if you have to be a person of color, a POC, in order to speak about profiling and racial issues, then following that reasoning, does somebody have to be, have been an a person of Africa, that means living in Africa, or having lived, been in the continent of Africa, like right now I'm in Nairobi, does somebody have to be a person of Africa in order to speak about anything involving the African-American experience. Now, I've had this conversation, but I mean, I've talked about this in different separate videos, talking about how I do not think when most people in like Black Lives Matter type things, most people in the United States of America, and I think when it comes to people in um, Europe, in, this, in the Western world in general, when they speak about Black, they're not necessarily meaning Africans. It has nothing to do with the continent of Africa or the culture in Africa. It's a specific group of people who have recent partial or full ancestry to Africa. But the culture itself, they don't care about things happening in Africa. I'm not even saying they should. But yeah, this person <laughs> apparently blocked me after that. What do you guys think? What, how often do you guys get into the situation and somebody like, oh, you're not qualified to speak about this? Or how many situations have you felt possibly unqualified to speak about that you may have studied more that you feel, okay, I may actually know more about this topic than people who are directly affected with this topic. And this is the thing, this person was left-leaning and you often get a situation where people say, how come people vote for politicians on the right against their interest? I used to be a person that said that. I used to say, these people don't know what they're talking about. These poor white people in, <laughs> in the middle of the country keep voting for Republicans when Republicans end up hurting what their interests. Isn't that me as a non-poor white person in, in, um, in, in, um, in flyover country or whatever, trying to talk about an experience that I can't actually understand because I am a person of color. So how would me as a POC be able to experience and understand the experience of a white person? And then again, going into this whole thing of white, is white a race? So <laughs> talking about racial profiling, if white is a race, then a white person can't talk about race from that place. Now, anyway, it's a whole, it's a whole mess. It's a really annoying saying. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys, let you know what you guys thought. I shared it and somebody was like, stop being logical, society doesn't like that. I don't know if that's the case. I enjoy doing these things. But yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Links in the low bar to merchandise store. And uh, check out other videos. I'll have more on these annoying sayings. Let me know what you guys think. Goodbye.